Uh, okay, so today we're gonna talk about the uh, attachments of the uh, ulna and radius bones. Uh, this shows the anterior view uh, of the uh, uh, left uh, ulna and uh, radius bones. Uh, we know that uh, because we see the uh, trochlear notch uh, of the ulna, which shows that it is anterior, and uh, we know that. Uh, radius is uh, lateral, uh, ulna is medial, so uh, we can imagine that uh, this is the anterior view of the uh, left um, radius and ulna. Okay, now we're going to talk about the attachments, uh, the origins and uh, insertions of the muscles. Starting from the anterior view, uh, this is uh, brachialis, this is supinator, its insertion and this is supinator its origin this is biceps brachii this is pronator teres its origin this is pronator teres its insertion this is the pronator tuberosity This is flexor digitorum superficialis and this is also flexor digitorum superficialis so it has got two origins. This big large origin is flexor digitorum profundus. This is flexor pollicis longus. These two are the origin and insertion of the pronator quadratus. This is the insertion of the brachioradialis. And now moving to the posterior. Okay, so again, uh, we can imagine that this is the uh, posterior view uh, of the left uh, radius and ulna. I'm repeating this uh, many times because it is important to indicate whether it's the right or the left. It is posterior, we know that, because we see many things. We see the dorsal uh, tubercle of the radius. Uh, we don't see the uh, trochlear notch. We see the olecranon uh, process of the ulna. And uh, we know that radius is lateral, uh, ulna is medial, so it is uh, the posterior view of the left uh, radius and ulna. Uh, now talking about the attachments of the posterior view, uh, this is supinator, its insertion, and from here we can also see the uh, origin of the supinator. This is triceps. This is unconscious. We don't talk about uh, these two origins, this and this. These two are the origins of the abductor pollicis longus. This is the extensor pollicis longus. This is the extensor pollicis brevis. And this is the extensor indices. And again, we may see this again. We, we should know that this is the flexor uh, digitorum profundus. Um, that should be all for this video. However, uh, it's also good to talk about the actions of some of these muscles. Um, so, pronator teres for pronation of the uh, forearm, uh, like this. So when it contracts, it pronates the forearm. And again, flexor pollicis longus uh, for flexion uh, of the thumb. Uh, this is uh, flexor digitorum uh, profundus. Um, and this is uh, flexor uh, digitorum superficialis, uh, both uh, for the flexion of the digits, uh, all the fingers except uh, the thumb. Um, okay, and of course uh, we do also have <coughs> um, brachialis, 
uh, this is for uh, flexion uh, of the elbow joints and uh, we have a uh, supinator and again supinator this is for uh, supination of the forearm um, so <coughs> it's like this so if it is on the uh, pronated uh, position uh, when the supinator muscle contracts it uh, supinates uh, the forearm okay and um, now on the posterior view <coughs> um, we have the uh, abductor uh, pollicis longus for abduction of the thumb uh, pollicis is uh, thumb um, uh, this is the uh, extensor pollicis longus and uh, extensor pollicis brevis uh, both <coughs> for the extension of the thumb uh, and finally this is the uh, extensor indices for extension of the index finger um, this finger um, and that should be all for this video thanks